Hello, this is Michelle Mendoza from Developer Relations, and in this video we'll talk about how to get started with using the Dojo Toolkit in a BlackBerry WebWorks application. Dojo is a JavaScript toolkit used to create cross-platform enterprise-grade applications. It provides a lightweight solution for DOM manipulation and AJAX services by allowing you to pick and choose the modules needed for your application. Dojo is created with minimal dependencies while providing thousands of lightweight plugins, which are also known as widgets. The Dojo toolkit is comprised of a few components. First, there's Dojo, which is also known as Core Dojo. Here you have Ajax and DOM manipulation, and you also have class-like programming and also event handling. Digit contains an extensive set of UI components known as widgets. Dojo X is a collection of packages and modules built upon Dojo Cord and Digit. In here we have mobile, graphics, charting, and many more packages. Util contains utility scripts that help you with programming for Dojo. With this you can create optimized builds and also use Dojo's own unit testing, which is Dojo Objective Harness. Dojo uses the AMD API. This asynchronous module definition is an API for defining reusable modules that you can load asynchronously in your application. Using this type of loading reduces application load time by up to 10 times when compared to synchronous loading of modules, making it suitable for mobile applications. This lightweight AMD loader is less than 4 kilobytes and is what we will first include in our application. Developing for a BlackBerry device is easy with Dojo as it has a set of widgets optimized for better mobile experience which is provided by the Dojo Mobile package. Dojo Mobile also provides an automatic theme loader detecting the user agent of the device and automatically including the related CSS file. Lists and image carousels can also be easily created, and navigation can be jazzed up with an assortment of transition effects. With mobile optimized charts and grids, Dojo is very business friendly. A visit to the Dojo Toolkit website will provide many demos to showcase its mobile capabilities. To get started with Dojo, we first need to retrieve the latest release through a content delivery network. Using a CDN allows us to keep the total application file size at a minimum. Here we find the URL to Dojo's module loader. This loader is what allows us to access all the different modules that Dojo offers. In a BlackBerry application, we need to include the HTTP protocol Otherwise, when it is running on the device, it will default to the local app directory. Let's get started with Dojo by making a basic list-based app. I already have my folder structure set up with a configuration document, an index document, as well as a getting started JavaScript file. In our configuration file, we need to include a whitelisting entry for the content delivery network that serves up the Dojo toolkit. We also need to point our content source to the index.html file. And since we're going to display information from this file in our application, we need to include the blackberry.app feature ID. In my index file, I've already set it up by including the viewport tag to make sure that our application is displayed properly on our device, as well as including our webworks.js file. When including the Dojo module loader, we must remember to include the HTTP protocol. Otherwise, when it is running on the device, it will default it to the local directory. To use asynchronous loading of AMD modules, set the async property to true. This switches it into baseless dojo, also known as async mode or AMD mode. Using this mode allows your application to load the module loader first and then allow you to pick and choose the modules needed in your application. I've also included the link to the getting started JavaScript file. In our getting started JavaScript file, we need to include a require statement. With the AMD module format, module identifiers look like paths instead of looking like object references. And this is where we include the modules that we need. First, we include the mobile parser, which is significantly lightweight compared to the base parser and results in a faster loading time. This mobile parser parses your application's pages once the DOM and initial dependencies have been loaded and it converts all widgets that you created declaratively to enable them to work with the Dojo Toolkit. We also include the Dojo Mobile module, stating that this is a mobile application. And we can also use the device theme included in the mobile package, which loads the related CSS file that has a similar look and feel to the native device OS. We also include the view widget, which represents our device screen. 
After we have our require statement, then we call the parse method, which will parse the page for widgets and instantiate them. In our index page, we need to create a few divs that will contain our content. We first create a main page that the user will see upon launching the app. This div will be called general and it represents the view. We need to create a heading for this page, so that's where we specify that it's a dojo mobile heading element. We also have to create our list from which the user can navigate. To specify a list item, we just declare that this is a dojo x mobile list item. Upon the user selecting that option, we want it to move to the about view, which is the next div. And we also want to include a fade transition. The about view is this div down below. Again, it is a mobile view element. And in here, we create another heading, but this time add a back button. The title of this back button will be general, and it will move to the general div. The div IDs must match each other. We want to create another heading, and this heading is for the round rect category. And under this, we create another div that will display the details of our app using the configuration file. Back to our getting started JavaScript file, we must remember to register with a WebEx ready event. And after, we want to get the name of the application as well as the description. The div that we created to display our content from the configuration file is called app details div. And using another dojo require statement, we can modify that element. Now let's view it in a Ripple emulator. And there you have it. Our application is now ready to be packaged as a WebRx app and deployed to a BlackBerry device. For more information about using the Dojo Toolkit with the WebRx application, be sure to visit the developer.blackberry.com website and check out the resources under the HTML5 platform. You can also visit the Dojo Toolkit website for more information about this JavaScript tool, as well as access a variety of learning tutorials.